Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan came also among them. And the Lord said unto Satan, Whence comest thou? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. And the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant of Job, that there is none like him in the earth, perfect and an upright man, one that feareth God, and escheweth evil? Then Satan answered the Lord, and said, Doth Job fear God for naught? Hast not thou made an hedge about him, and about his house, and about all that he hath on every side? Thou hast blessed the work of his hands, and his substance is increased in the land. But put forth thine hand now, and touch all that he hath, and he will curse thee to thy face. And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, all that he hath is in thy power. Only upon himself put not forth thine hand. So Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord. Israelites, it is important for you to know that no one is exempt from spiritual attacks. Everyone in his or her lifetime will experience spiritual attacks. Your knowledge as well as your personal relationship with the Father will determine how victorious you will be against every attack. If you lack knowledge about the world you live in as well as the spirit realm, you will perish for a lack of knowledge. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. I repeatedly say, having a lack of knowledge does not excuse you from spiritual attacks. Your adversaries will not pity you because you lack knowledge. Look how fast the workers of iniquity censor channels that spread truth that can help deliver you from their strongholds. Israelites, the Satans, the workers of iniquity and unclean spirits don't have morals. Don't expect them to take the high road. The less knowledgeable you are, the easier they can place a stronghold on your life to control you. The Satans want you to lack knowledge to better rule over you. The beast system made sure to keep the indigenous black people ignorant to their history, legacy, and their God to destroy them. If you don't have a relationship with the father, you will certainly lose every spiritual attack. If you don't have the father on your side, you don't have access to his resources and army. Therefore, when the enemy attack, the Most High will give you into their hands. Remember, the Most High honor all covenants. When you make covenants with the kingdom of darkness, as well as when you accept their gods to be your Lord and Savior, you no longer belong to the Most High. The Father will say to all who forsake him for the idols of the heathens, go cry to the gods you replace him with. And the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord and served Balaam. And they forsook the Lord God of their fathers, which brought them out of the land of Egypt and followed other gods of the gods of the people that were round about them, and bowed themselves unto them, and provoked the Lord to anger. And they forsook the Lord, and served Baal and Ashtoreth. And the anger of the Lord was hot against Israel, and he delivered them into the hands of spoilers that spoiled them, and he sold them into the hands of their enemies round about, so that they could not any longer stand before their enemies. Whithersoever they went out, the hand of the Lord was against them for evil, as the Lord had said, and as the Lord had sworn unto them, and they were greatly distressed. As you have heard in the book of Judges, when you go whoring after other gods, the Most High himself will give you into the hands of your enemies. Our generation is living in the land of our enemies because our ancestors forsook the Most High, the Father, for the gods of the heathens. As their descendants, we are paying the penalty for their iniquities. The Most High sold us into slavery. Israelites, this is why the sin of idolatry is a great sin. The Satans made sure that you don't cry out to the God of our fathers, but to a foreign God that cannot save you nor help you. 
The workers of iniquity that run this world with the Satans are not going to help you destroy their kingdoms. They will manipulate you into thinking they are on your side. Israelites, believe me when I tell you that the workers of iniquity are against you in every way. The scripture said they have taken crafty counsel against you and they are confederate against you. All the heathen nations conspired against you. For any Israelite or indigenous black people to believe they have allies in the beast system, you truly don't know who your enemies are and what you're dealing with. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. But they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. The tabernacles of Edom and the Ishmaelites of Moab and the Hagarenes, Gabal and Ammon and Amalek, the Philistines with the inhabitants of Tyre, Asur also is joined with them. They have helped the children of Lot, Selah. The scriptures repeatedly say that you're in the land of your enemies. Israelites, you're not in the land of your friends and allies, but enemies. The battlefield is your home until the Most High gather his people to give them the rest he promised Adam by covenant. You live on a battlefield. There's no rest on the battlefield. The time has come for you to understand this truth. Israelites, there will be spiritual attacks against you. It's up to you to decide how you're going to react. The enemy is always looking for a covenant. Covenants give your enemies permission to do as they will in your life. Last week, you learned about the hidden covenants. Use the knowledge obtained from the message to break every hidden covenant. As your knowledge increase on spiritual warfare, make sure that you're not unknowingly forging evil covenants with the heathens and with their gods. Thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor with their gods. When you make covenants with the heathens and with their gods, their gods become a snare to you. Just as the Most High said to us in the book of Judges, when the Israelites in that generation forsake the Most High, the Father, for the gods of the heathens. And an angel of the Lord came up from Gilgal to Bokim and said, I made you to go up out of Egypt and have brought you unto the land which I swear unto your fathers. And I said, I will never break my covenant with you. And ye shall make no league with the inhabitants of this land. Ye shall throw down their altars. But ye have not obeyed my voice. Why have ye done this? Wherefore I also said, I will not drive them out from before you, but they shall be as thorns in your sides, and their gods shall be a snare unto you. The spirit of idolatry runs deep in the Israelite bloodline. It's due to the sin of idolatry we are in the predicament that we're in. The chosen people that are called after the father are homeless due to the sin of idolatry. Israelites in this generation continue in the sin of idolatry, fulfilling the scriptures that said you would serve gods our ancestors have not known. Gods made from man's hands, gods of wood and stone. A lot of Israelites believe Rome's gods can save them and deliver them. It's been thousands of years since the Israelites have accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Rome's Messiah and God is powerless against your enemies. Until this day, Rome and many others rule over you. Without the Father, you can't stand against your enemies. The Israelites forsake the Father in every generation. The scripture said, if the Most High be for us, who can be against us? What can man or anyone do to you if the Father be for you? What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? In God I will praise his word. In God I have put my trust. I will not fear what flesh can do unto me. If we were serving the Most High in religion, the Most High would have saved us a long time ago. A lot of indigenous black people are made to believe they have been serving the Father in Rome. You haven't. If you were serving the Most High, what can man or anyone do to you? Israelites, if you continue to serve other gods, you will be powerless against your enemies when they attack you in the physical realm as well as the spirit realm. I've noticed that a lot of Israelites are not aware when they are under attack. 
Also, some Israelites cannot recognize a spiritual attack against them and their people. This chapter in the Spirit Realm series will help you identify spiritual attacks against you in the spirit realm as well as the physical realm. The first sign of a spiritual attack against you, if you're a descendant of Adam, you're under attack regardless of your bloodline. If you've been on this channel long enough, you will hear me quote the scripture from the book of Adam and Eve that revealed that Satan waged war against Adam and his seed. Again, he said, and as much as we do not know the day agreed upon with thee by thy God, nor the hour in which thou shalt be delivered, for that reason will we multiply war and murder upon thee and thy seed after thee. But Satan, the hater of all good, thought within himself, whereas God has promised salvation to Adam by covenant, and that he would deliver him out of all the hardship that have befallen him, but has not promised me by covenant, and will not deliver me out of my hardship. Nay, since he has promised him that he should make him and his seed dwell in the kingdom in which I once was, I will kill Adam. The earth shall be rid of him and shall be left to me alone, so that when he is dead, he may not have any seed left to inherit the kingdom that shall remain my own realm. God will then be in want of me, and he will restore me to it with my hosts. The Most High promised Adam by covenant that he would save him and the righteous of his seed. The Most High did not promise the Satans to save them. They are condemned to eternal fire. The Satans and their children have nothing to lose. No redemption was given to them. Therefore, Satan now wage war against you if you're a descendant of Adam. Satan believed if Adam have no one to inherit the promises the Most High made to him, then the Most High would restore him to his former glory. Because Satan now has deceived himself, he waged war against all of Adam's descendants. The scriptures made it known that Satan prowls around the earth like a roaring lion looking for who he can devour. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Not only is Satan now and his angels roaming the earth looking for who they can devour, the Satans know that they have but a short time. Satan made it his life mission to destroy as many descendants of Adam before the Most High deliver his people from his hands. The scriptures in the Bible warn us and said, Woe to all the inhabitants of the earth. Satan now has come down with great wrath. Did you hear, Israelites? With great wrath. The Satans are not here to play games, but to devour as many of Adam's descendants that they could before judgment come upon them and all the wicked. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. If you're a descendant of Adam, you're under spiritual attacks daily. None of you are exempt from attacks. The ancient fallen angels have a bone to pick with all of you. A lot of you are not equipped to stand against the attacks because religion did not prepare you for battle. Religion taught you to hide behind a false God that will do all the work for you. When it comes to the awakening, a lot of our people are too deceived to see that they are under attack. Some of our people spent majority of their time arguing. Israelites, you will perish if you don't get your house in order. The Satans are destroying Israelites and the indigenous black people left and right. Satan have you blaming each other for his attacks against you. Wake up. You don't have to have a great calling on your life to be under spiritual attack. Being a descendant of Adam made you a target for the kingdom of darkness to attack you. Remember the Most High said he would put enmity between you and the seed of the fallen. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Israelites, the time has come for you to stop wondering why the whole world hates you. Put on the whole armor of the Most High to stand against your enemies. You wrestle not against flesh and blood. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. And in the power of his might, put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, 
but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Not only are you fighting the seed of the fallen, you're also fighting an invisible enemy. The only way to see the disembodied spirits fighting you, your dreams or reveal what is happening in the invisible world around you. Take advantage of the insight given to you in the spirit realm. Every attack against you happened in the spirit realm first. What you're seeing in the physical realm is the manifestation of what took place in the spirit realm. The Most High give you the ability to see what is happening in the spirit realm to help you stand against your enemies. The Most High is not giving you insight for you to argue and attack your own people. Too many Israelites are wasting time fighting each other instead of the enemy. The spirit of division is ravishing the Israelite community because a lot of Israelites are too prideful to humble themselves. If you're a descendant of Adam, regardless of your bloodline, you have a target on your back. Shift your focus to the enemy instead of trying to embarrass and destroy your own. Only a fool attack his own kingdom. Now that you know you're not exempt from spiritual attacks, live a life that pleased the Father in order for the Most High to make your enemies at peace with you. When a man's ways please the Lord, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. Another form of spiritual attack in the physical realm is social media. A lot of Israelites and indigenous black people do not realize that their enemies use social media to divide and conquer the indigenous black people. When the heathens wage war against you in the form of racism and discrimination, as well as warfare on social media, all of this is the result of the wrath of the Satans coming against you. The wrath of Satan is manifesting in the physical realm in the form of racism, discrimination, division, and many other ways the seed of the fallen conspire against you. A lot of you don't know that social media is the most successful way the workers of iniquity attack you in this generation. A lot of people spend countless hours on social media. The Satans use social media to attack the indigenous black people with the spirit of division, as well as many other unclean spirits. The scriptures made it known that a kingdom or a household that is divided cannot stand. And Jesus knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. A lot of Israelites and indigenous black people fall for the spiritual attacks against them on social media. A lot of the time in the comment section of my videos and many other truth channels, the enemy come to cause strife and division. Many of them pose as Israelites to come against the message in the video to steal the good seed planted in you. A lot of Israelites allow themselves to fall victim to that form of attack against them. Israelites, don't let the enemy come and rob you. Don't let the good seed fall by the wayside. When anyone heareth the word of the kingdom and understandeth it not, then cometh the wicked one and catcheth away that which was sown in his heart. This is he which received a seed by the wayside. A lot of people don't realize that social media is a playground for witches and warlocks, as well as your adversaries to see what you're doing to counter your progress. A lot of Israelites overshare on social media, not taking into account that their adversaries are watching and studying your every move. Israelites will reveal the most intimate things about themselves on social media, giving the workers of iniquity leverage. Israelites, there are things the Most High will reveal to you that are meant to be private. Make sure you're not sharing vital information that would give your enemies the opportunity to place a stronghold on your life. Your adversaries pretend to be Israelites or an indigenous black person to stir up strife and division in the comment section. Your adversaries will make certain videos or topics go viral. Most viral videos and posts are not organic. The workers of iniquity push certain topics to establish covenants with the people. Censorship or suppressing content is a form of spiritual attack. Suppressing content prevent the people to think for themselves. The workers of iniquity falsify data on certain channels to discourage the people from watching. The remnant will see through the bias on social media because spirit recognize spirit. The remnant will hear the voice of the Most High and follow the Father. My sheep hear my voice and I know them 
and they follow me. Only the people who don't recognize the voice of the Father will believe the false data the Satan's put out there to steer you away from the truth. A lot of you see the disruptive ads they place on my videos to distract you from listening and hearing the truth. All of this is done by design and a spiritual attack against you. Israelites, you have to recognize these attacks and respond accordingly. The word of the Most High said, when the truth is preached in all kingdoms as a testimony to all nations, then will the end come. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. The workers of iniquity don't want the truth to spread throughout the world. They are doing everything they can to prevent the people from hearing the truth. When everyone hear the truth and denounce and break all the evil covenants, the Satan's kingdom will come to an end. The workers of iniquity who run this world with the Satan's are fighting against the real awakening to prevent the truth from spreading all over the world. Remember, there's an awakening being led by the Most High. There's a false awakening that is an extension of the beast religion led by the ministers of Satan. Israelites, make sure you can differentiate the false awakening from the real awakening. There's too much spiritual warfare out here for Israelites to be consumed with matters that is not helping them grow spiritually. When you begin to see the world in the correct perspective, you will see that you have a lot of work to do. The Satan's is attacking you from all angles. You need the Father on your side to stand against these attacks. Behold. I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. Too many Israelites trade the most high for the gods of the heathens. The Satans wage war against you for being a descendant of Adam. The workers of iniquity use social media to establish covenants and to attack you unawares. Israelites, there are dreams that reveal you're under attack. I will share some of the dreams that reveal a spiritual attack. When you see someone shooting at you, this dream is showing you that a worker of iniquity is at their altar sending their evil arrows at you. When you wake up from the dream, make sure to send the arrow right back to them. Israelites, remember the language of the spirit realm are symbols. Being shot at in the physical realm is a person trying to kill you. In the spirit realm, it has multiple meanings. If you're constantly dreaming of someone shooting at you, you're under a spiritual attack. Dreams of being chased by animals and people indicate you're under a spiritual attack. Dreams of being chased also reveal that your spirit is malnourished. Your spirit is weak. You need to get into the word, spend time in the presence of the Father to build up your spirit to stand against the attacks in the spirit realm. The word of the Most High said, man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes out of the mouth of the Father does man live. And he humbled thee. And suffered thee to hunger, and fed thee with manna, which thou knewest not, neither did thy fathers know, that he might make thee know that man doth not live by bread only, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of the Lord doth man live. The word of the Most High feed your spirit as well as praying and fasting. If you're not studying the word with the Holy Spirit and spending time in the presence of the Father, as well as praying and fasting, the Most High will show you in the spirit realm that your spirit is weak. Your spirit is being destroyed and manipulated by unclean spirits and the workers of iniquity. Israelites, I repeatedly say to you not to share your dreams in the comment section with anyone because the workers of iniquity can decode dreams. If they see that you're weak spiritually, they will attack you. Refrain from sharing your dreams on a public platform. Only share dreams the Most High tell you to share with his people. When the Most High begins to pour out his spirit on his sons and daughters, only share those dreams the Father tell you to share with his people when you begin to prophesy in the last days. And it shall come to pass, in the last days, saith God, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Your adversaries have no morals. They will devour the weak. Build up your spirit to stand against your enemies. Dreams that show you physically fighting with a person or an animal is a sign of a spiritual attack against you. 
If someone is slandering your name, gossiping, or conspiring against you, you will see yourself physically fighting in the spirit realm. If you won the fight, the Most High gave you victory over the enemy. If you lost the fight, you need to repent, fast, and pray to build up your spirit to stand against the attacks. Another dream that indicate that you're under spiritual attack when an animal bite you. The most popular animal biting you in the dream is a dog. The dog symbolize an unclean spirit. You often see the animal biting you on your fingers, which is a witchcraft attack. Dreams showing a person feeding you is a spiritual attack. Sleep paralysis is also a sign of a spiritual attack. There's a lot of dreams revealing you're under attack. The Most High will allow you to see what is happening in the spirit realm to save your life. Israelites, it's up to you to humble yourself and to put on the armor of the Most High to stand against these attacks. I can't fight your battles for you. You have to stand on your own two feet with the Father on the battlefield. The scripture said you must work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but Now much more, in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Asking people to stand with you in your battle will help you if that person is righteous. Not everyone have your best interests at heart. Some may pray against you and not with you. That is why you need to have your own personal relationship with the Father. Israelites, no one is exempt from spiritual attacks. Don't believe you're a special case and the only one experiencing attacks from the kingdom of darkness. We all have to battle the Satans, unclean spirits, and the workers of iniquity. The greater the call is on your life, you're more prone to attacks. For example, your teachers, leaders, and spiritual leaders that are called by the Most High have to deal with a great number of attacks. However, if they are serving the Most High in the spirit and in truth, No weapon that is formed against them in the remnant shall prosper. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Israelites, if you have the Most High on your side and your ways please the Most High, The Father will see to it that your enemies flee before you seven ways. A lot of Israelites believe once they are delivered from a spiritual attack or from an unclean spirit, the battle is over. Israelites, the battle is never over. You have to get used to fighting the kingdom of darkness. Prayer and fasting is the most effective way to get a devil to flee, as well as repenting and living a life that don't invite unclean spirits into your life. Sin invite unclean spirits and the Satans into your life, as well as hidden covenants. The reason the battle is never over, unclean spirits are disembodied spirits. They attach themselves to people to operate in the physical realm. When an unclean spirit is cast out, it looks for a place to rest. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places seeking rest and findeth none. Then he saith, I will return into my house from whence I came out. And when he is come, he findeth it empty, swept, and garnished. Unclean spirits will keep looking for a place to rest. If it can't find a place to rest, the unclean spirit will return to where it was cast out of. Unclean spirits refer to people as their house. This is why the battle is never over. The unclean spirit will keep returning, and when the unclean spirit returns, it will bring other spirits more wicked than itself to secure its house. Your sins give the unclean spirits an invitation to come back. Israelites, that is why repenting should be a part of your daily routine. Not only do you have to deal with unclean spirits, the seed of the fallen watch you like a hawk, waiting for you to slip up to oppress you. The workers of iniquity that practice sorcery also attack you when you give them an opportunity. As you can see, Israelites and indigenous black people, you have visible and invisible enemies working against you. The Most High allow you to see the invisible enemy when you dream. The spirit realm is not showing you the invisible enemy for no reason. Everything has its purpose. The Most High gave us everything that we need to stand against the enemy. Just as we have invisible enemies, we have invisible forces like the holy angels that help us daily. 
The Most High gave us everything that we need to be successful. The problem many Israelites have is that they let the affairs of this world preoccupy them. When you let the affairs of this world consume you, the God of this world will blind your eyes. In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. A lack of knowledge is also the downfall to a lot of the indigenous black people. A lot of Israelites and indigenous black people are not aware of the invisible enemies that persecute them daily. Also, you have the enemies within. The enemies within are the most dangerous because they are the closest to you. The scriptures did say a person's enemies are the members of his or her own household. And a man's foe shall be they of his own household. The attacks within are the attacks most Israelites and indigenous black people look past. The Satans will use anyone to come against you. If the enemy within made themselves available to the kingdom of darkness through sin, Satan will use them unawares. Satan will deceive them into believing they are doing the will of the Father. However, they are blind to see that they are oppressing and persecuting their own. A lot of doctrines that the sons of Belial are created in the false awakening are made to oppress and persecute certain groups. An example I can give you is the doctrine of women teachers and the Most High not dealing with women. These satanic doctrines are created to oppress the daughters of Zion. Satan used these doctrines to shut down the will of the father in his daughter's lives. If Rebecca didn't seek the face of the Most High about the conflict between Jacob and Esau in her womb, Isaac would have blessed Esau because Isaac loved Esau. And Isaac loved Esau because he did eat of his venison. But Rebecca loved Jacob. And the children struggled together within her. And she said, If it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Lord. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb. And two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people. And the elder shall serve the younger. If the Most High don't deal with his daughters, how will the scriptures be fulfilled that say they would prophesy in the last days? The Most High showed himself strong through several daughters of Zion in the scriptures, as well as in this generation. To the daughters of Zion, know that a lot of the doctrines created in the false awakening is used to manipulate you. These doctrines of devils are a form of a spiritual attack against you. You should always do the will of the Father in your life. Whatever the Most High call you to do, honor him. In the word of the Messiah, worship the Father and him only should you serve. Then saith Jesus unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. The Most High should have the final say in the lives of his people. Israelites, don't allow anyone beside the Most High to have the final say in your life. Whatever the Most High tell you to do, overrule everyone else. Israelites, the kingdom of darkness come against you in many ways. Know that every day someone is conspiring against you. You should be vigilant, like the scripture said, and put on the whole armor. Don't let the Satans and the workers of iniquity distract you from increasing your knowledge. The Most High said knowledge would increase. Don't let anyone hinder you. Spiritual warfare is real, and you have to stand your ground. The Most High didn't give you power over the entire kingdom of darkness just for you to live a life of bondage. The Most High didn't give us the spirit of bondage. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. Israelites, take the time to get to know the Father in the awakening. When you allow the Most High to transform you by renewing your mind, you will see how your life changed for the better. You have to be loyal to the Father to see the will of the Most High in your life. Israelites, there are many other ways the Satans attack you. These are some of the ways the workers of iniquity come against you in the spirit realm as well as the physical realm. As you mature spiritually, you will begin to see the attacks from a mile away. Everything takes place in the spirit realm first. What you see in the physical realm are the manifestation of what already took place in the spirit realm. Israelites, 
destroy your enemies in the spirit realm and you will begin to see them fall in the physical realm. Greater is he that's in you than he that's in this world. Deliver me from mine enemies, O oh my God. Defend me from them that rise up against me. Deliver me from the workers of iniquity and save me from bloody men. For lo, they lie in wait for my soul. The mighty are gathered against me. Not for my transgression, nor for my sin, O Lord. They run and prepare themselves without my fault. Awake to help me and behold. Thou therefore, O Lord, God of hosts, the God of Israel, awake to visit all the heathen. Be not merciful to any wicked transgressors. Selah.